Okay, this is the second video in the basal ganglia uh, lecture, uh, and in this video we're going to discuss the indirect pathway. So the basal ganglia uh, is not only important in initiating motor movement, which we saw in the direct pathway video, but it's also important in actually inhibiting unwanted uh, movement from occurring, and it does so via uh, the indirect pathway. Now the motor cortex, uh, like the direct pathway, uh, sends a stimulatory signal, uh, we'll call that stimulatory, and that's via glutamate, the neurotransmitter, uh, to the striatum, just like it does in the direct pathway. But then things start to get a little bit different. The striatum, as we know, has uh, inhibitory output to the globus pallidus. But in this case, uh, what happens is that the striatum sends an inhibitory message via GABA to a different segment of the globus pallidus known as the external segment. And the role of the globus, the external globus pallidus is normally to inhibit uh, another basal ganglia collection of neurons uh, or nuclei known as the subthalamic nucleus. But what happens in the indirect pathway is that the striatum is now inhibiting the external segment of the globus pallidus. So that means that the uh, external segment is no longer able to inhibit the subthalamic nucleus. So what actually happens is we get less inhibition of the subthalamic nucleus. So this means that the subthalamic nucleus neurons now become more active and they are able to stimulate the internal segment of the globus pallidus. So we'll call that stimulatory and that's also via the neurotransmitter glutamate. Um, and as we know from the direct pathway, the normal role of the internal segment of the globus pallidus is actually to inhibit the thalamus and that's also via GABA. So you can imagine the subthalamic nucleus is more active. It's going to stimulate or make the internal globus pallidus neurons also more active, which means that they are going to be able to inhibit the thalamus better than they normally would. So that means there's going to be decreased excitatory flow, decreased excitatory messages from the thalamus to the motor cortex and therefore the motor cortex basically gets dampened down and it, and it will not send signals for movement to the uh, spinal cord and ultimately to the muscles. So the end result is that you get less movement. And that in a nutshell, uh, in a very simplified form, is how the uh, indirect basal ganglia pathway um, helps inhibit unwanted uh, motor movement.